Hey, hey, welcome back, Visions fans. Ready Player Willie with another uh, classroom session today. So we're going to go over the evasion and accuracy formulas, exactly how they're derived, what influences them, where you can find them. Really just kind of understand it, particularly when I give my reviews, when I talk about the stats, uh, you know, why the context matters. And so uh, let's just jump into it. What is accuracy and evasion? So the, the formula is very simple. You essentially calculate a, a percentage based upon your stats, and then it's the accuracy percentage rate minus the evasion percentage rate. That's like that's it in a nutshell. It's not terribly difficult conceptually, but some of the math you might look at it at first glance and be like, oh, that's too much, and it's not. I'm going to walk you through it. So accuracy, chance of hitting a target, no surprise. It's made up of three uh, variables, dexterity, luck, and accuracy, like actual um, external accuracy percentage points. And I'll show you examples of that. And evasion, chance of dodging an attack, the variables in there are a character's agility, their luck, and then their evasion percentage externally, and I'll show you examples as well. You'll notice uh, luck is in both of these, and actually luck affects both of them proportionally in terms of uh, adding to the percentage points, if you will, so I'll cover more of that later. Uh, the accuracy overview, that's the actual data mined formula, courtesy of Meow. There is a simpler way to look at it, though. Uh, roughly, if you take your dexterity, for every five dexterity, you get an accuracy point, and for every two and a half luck, you get one accuracy point. So essentially, you kind of like just divide the stats up, and then external sources of accuracy, like, if you see something with a sword here, this accuracy of 20, what that 20 means is it's 20% added to the percentages from the stats. So we're, I'm going to go through a whole, you know, uh, uh, hypothetical soon, you'll see where that comes into play. What it means for my overview, so technically, like, this total accuracy with passives, it's the dexterity divided by 5, uh, roughly, it's the luck divided by uh, two and a half, and then if they have trust mastery, it's like El Sorel, I think, or trust mastery is ten accuracy. Well, that means ten percentage or ten ten percent added to her total number. So uh, that's what that is. And and honestly, these numbers aren't final by any stretch because once you start putting in external sources of accuracy, vision cards. Uh, stat boost, etc. These numbers change drastically, but the reason for looking at them in the first place is getting a, a feel for how innately it applies to the character, like in the context of others. So that if you look at the average of 146, Elsarel on average is 148. You can tell she's, you know, 33% higher just in base, even before adding any sort of external sources. So, um, you know, and that's also for the reasons that most of these are universal. So, for instance, if you had like Zizabels on any of these characters, like you just add 12% to all of them. So it's, it's all relative in that sense. Um, the, yeah, that's really it. So, you know, we're going to take that 179% and we're going to apply it uh, real soon. Uh, the evasion overview, same concept. It's a, it's a formula that was data mined, but roughly, and this is a, this, fuck me, this is a misprint here. It's one and a half agility per evasion point. So essentially take your total agility, divide by 1.5, uh, and it's two and a half luck per evasion point, and then one evasion point for a percent. So what are those like evasion points? Well, something like the Sage's hat, this 19 on the evade means a 19 percentage points added to the total. This increased evasion rate for self, uh, eight, means 8% 8 added to the total. So the difference between a plus two and a plus five is 6% more chance to dodge. And it may not sound that material, but it's pretty material when you start adding up all the sources of, of evasion. So what it means in my overview is kind of the same idea. You take the total uh, agility divided by 1.5, the luck divided by 2.5, um, any external evasion or trust masters, yada yada, roll it all up, you get this percentage. How does that tie together? Well, let's look at a hypothetical. Let's take the average accuracy, this 145%, and let's take Venera. She's like the most evasive unit just in base. And her total evasion is uh, 70%. Well, you do that out. Uh, this is the equation. The accuracy percentage minus the evasion percentage. So the 146 minus the 70 means your chance to hit her is 76% from the front. The reason why I give that caveat, so if you're attacking someone from the front, it's just this formula, nothing else. If you attack from their side, you actually get 15% accuracy added. And if you attack from their back, you get 30% added. So, um, you know, very important in terms of directionally how you attack and how that accuracy uh, gets boosted because of it. So that's, that's it in a nutshell. Again, this is really high level uh, overlook at it. So let's just like look at an actual example. This is what my, my guild lovingly calls Toxic Evade, where it's essentially just like the whale version of Evasion Comp. So let's take a Venera, uh, Sage's Hat, Dodge, plus five, Zizabell's, Tetrasilphid with the Evade nodes unlocked, 
these passives, evasion level one, tune up the party vision card. So when you're talking about an evade comp, there's two cards at minimum that you need. The first is Secrets of the Heart, which boosts luck for the party. The second is Shiva, which give, gives 20% evasion to party, minimum. The third one, you, you know, technically can do some agility boosting cards because the extra agility is also going to add to the evasion. So I have like made like a perfect, like top of the notch whale Venera here, like the best evade you can expect. And um, long story short, let's calculate our evasion. So the, ignore the right side for a second. The left side, this is using the actual crazy exact calculus equation. Uh, her stats, she's got 100 at agility in this build, 351 luck, 87 evade. Do all the math, you know, whether you want to do the exact version or the rough version, you get to 195. If you do the rough version, that's this whole right side here, uh, you get to 194%. So it's damn close. Like it's, it's basically the same for our intensive purposes. Um, so, uh, that's also not using shadow cast, which I think is like 42 evasion. What that 42 means is you 42% higher chance of evasion for it. So you take the 195, add 42, whatever that number is. So that's, that's how that fits into it. Um, let's look at an average accuracy build. So Dwayne, super popular unit. Uh, he's not that accurate overall, but he's a very popular unit. So that's why I look at it. We're going to put him, uh, with the Lazalia sword, Zizabel's golem esper. So like none of this is surprising for the vision cards. I gave him his own, the irresistible darkness. Uh, I'm assuming he's got a Leela in the party. So she's going to have Typhon vision card on her. And I just said black rose fragility, you know, pretty standard. Well, the long story short is we have two sources of really high external accuracy here. 20 on the Lazalia sword and 15 from the Typhon vision card. If you were to essentially add that all up, the dexterity, that's a stat, the luck, that's a stat. Uh, he comes up to total accuracy of 206 in this build. So now let's apply the formula together. You take Dwayne's accuracy, you subtract Venera's evasion. What's his chance to hit in the front? 11%. That's, that's how that number gets calculated in the top left. Obviously, this changes depending on the side you're attacking. The one thing I wanted to point out, like why it's super important, 11% is, is still pretty bad in terms of, you know, chance to hit. But hypothetically, like we have two very strong external, source, uh, external sources of accuracy, the Lazalia Sword or the Typhon card. If he had only one of these two, that hit chance would be 0%. Because if he's at 206 and you take off the 20% from the Lazalia Sword, puts him at 186, you technically get negative hit chance here. And, and you can't go negative, it just goes to zero. And you can't go above 100%, it just goes to 100%. Um, so yeah, so if he lacked one of these external sources, the hit chance would be zero. Uh, just throwing that caveat in there. That's uh, the other thing to mention, there's no unit affinity in any of these stats, where technically, uh, the more affinity your units have with each other, when they're standing like within two squares of each other, they'll get boosts to agility, luck, dexterity, some of those stats. And so this is not including those. This is, again, just for the purely high level. Um, there is a calculator that Meow made, I can provide it after, where it does the calculation for you and it's super simple. You just take the dexterity, the luck, the total uh, accuracy. This can be a little tricky to manually calculate yourself. So I do recommend using WOTV Calc, their builder, that if you put in your character and what they have at the very bottom at a table, it'll give you your, the accuracy externally. Um, but it, you know, you can totally add it up on your own too. It's not terribly difficult. You just gotta know what to look for. Um, and so finally, some general key takeaways. Uh, the luck stat equally boosts accuracy and evasion by the same ratio of percentage points. So you'll notice in, in these two formulas, this red box, the luck portion of it, it's the same. It's literally the same in both of the equations. So when you've heard me talk about some other character reviews, like in order to counter an evade comp, you need one of the ways to do it is another evade comp. Well, the reason for that is any luck that the evasion gets, I'm sorry, any evasion that they get from luck well, you get the same amount of accuracy from luck because it's directly proportional in terms of how it affects both formulas, you know, assuming both vision cards are maxed on Secrets of the Heart uh, and what have you. But it's not perfect, perfect one for one, but in a nutshell, like conceptually, that's what it is. Um, so don't under underestimate the aim builds on equipment where those, you know, big percentage boosts certainly can help. Uh, look for accuracy notes on espers. This is super cheap way to get accuracy. You'll notice some of them, like it'll be plus three and then plus four. That's what it means. It means 3% and 4%. So 7%, don't underestimate that amount of external accuracy. And then looking for luck and dexterity on cards. So I just did Swordsman's Refinement this week, the new MR card that was released. Well, it's made for O, right? Uh, he's one of the units that benefits. O is about to get an X upgrade that's gonna make him super evasive. And on that card, you'll remember, there's like 26 luck, I think it what it is. So, you know, just back of the envelope, if you did 26 luck divided by two and a half, 
what is that, 10? Uh, well, that 10 means 10% extra evasion. So same thing with the uh, the test subjects card, the missile card, that's Lucia's. It's got 70 dexterity, so 70 divided by the 5, um, that'll give you an extra 14% accuracy points to the equation so don't underrate those external sources as well really valuable um but that's it in a nutshell hopefully i kept that rather high level for you all there's obviously some other nuances to it and uh, things that go into it but i, I figured this is well overdue to talk about particularly because i emphasize it so much in my reviews but hopefully uh you know you can at least look at it too and, and when you see an enemy uh setup whether it's an arena or it's an opened person already in your guild wars you can look at them and be like all right there's a Dwayne there and he doesn't have the lozalia sword okay there's a an eldira and she doesn't have the alexandrite ring uh you know there's ways you can look at a character and like get a feel for what their accuracy might be just judging it overall so hopefully this helps feel free to you know add any questions comments corrections looking forward to do more of these classroom sessions so uh thanks for watching and i'll talk to you all soon be very excited two days from now we have the the one year anniversary and Final Fantasy X and all the gifts so really looking forward to all the new content that's going to come out and uh, working with you all to uh, just maximize and have fun with the game so uh, take care and I'll talk to you all soon